Welcome to this tutorial on the Golden Toolbar. Uh, I'm not going to take any time in this particular tutorial to cover the features of the toolbar itself, other than the ones that have changed as a result of the 2.0 version. Um, a typical toolbar, when you load it, uh, will actually look as the one does above here, where it has the Spock Home icon, uh, which will take you to our page in our uh, particular um, fan page and then the drop down list and then a search feature the experience uh, ratios as well as a donate option and then the configuration um, now in order for the Spock Home Golden Toolbar to work you actually have to donate to Spock Home and um, I'll just take a brief second to kind of explain this process the idea of donating to Spock Home is not you're not buying the Golden Toolbar. The toolbar was designed as a public feature and as a thank you to those that have donated and showed support for the things we do at Spock Home, we've decided to add this um, Golden Toolbar feature um, as a sort of uh, thank you to those that have uh, supported our efforts in continuing to make the game of Mafia Wars a little bit easier for everybody. Um, and then what we've done as a result of that, and I'll get into the, fe the features that are available currently in the toolbar um, that are only available to Golden Toolbar users. So let me take a few seconds here to explain the process of how to get access to the Golden Toolbar. Um, after you've made your donation, and it'll take about 24 hours currently um, for us to update the database on the back end with your um, donation information so that this way things will sync up when you get to the part I'm going to show you next. Um, so be patient, and if it doesn't work, if it's not there right immediately, then just hang tight. We're working on a process to try to automate it as much as possible. But what you will do is you will actually go to spockon.me slash tb for toolbar. And you'll see a page that looks similar to this. Um, now, the home page will just come up, and we do explain on here about the idea of the 24 hours. And then there's a little bit of an about page, and then there's this account page. And the account page is where you're going to want to go. And as you can see, it's already recognized that I am had already opted to log in with Facebook, which you would need to do. You get the option to... Um, you should see your Facebook ID linked to this and my current name and then I put in the email address I used when I donated so in my case I'm going to use my and then I go create a password oops a password that I would like to use uh, with regard to um, the, the access to the toolbar and then I click the register option and you should get a message that says great success uh, your account has been activated um, and then if I want to view my account information I can click here account tab and now it'll show that I've my status is active and then I've got the backup feature enabled and now the backup feature is one of those features that's only available to golden toolbar users and the intention behind it is that you can actually um, go in and save the settings in your toolbar so that if you end up having to reload your machine or move to another machine you can go ahead and actually restore those settings to the toolbar in another machine um, and then if you wanted to um, see what your actual password is set at you can click on that link there and then you can go ahead and see the password so now that we've actually gotten connected if you will now I'm going to go back to Mafia Wars and it what is the traditional toolbar so if I click the config option in the top left hand corner I'll point out a couple of things that are available here we have now a feature in there called enabled golden toolbar we'll do that here in a sec you have use backup server so now there's an option that if the main servers are down you can actually use the backup servers for any of our spocklets that are made available through the through the toolbar and then we also added an option that says hide ice target um, targets on fight list and battle board so if with this checked the people that are actually iced will just disappear off the screen and since you can't attack them anyway it makes some sense to have that there there's also this option called force reload spocklets 
as we introduce new spocklets, um, they will become available within the toolbar. Some will take longer to load in than others, just depending on the cycle and the refresh schedule. So if you ever want to just check quickly to see if there's any new ones, then you can actually go ahead and force a reload and it will list in any new spocklets that are available. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enable the golden toolbar. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. And then, as you noticed, my toolbar color changed to gold. Ah, a la, the golden toolbar. So now that's all there really is to enable the golden toolbar process. Um, and then when I'm in there, I actually have spocklets that are available to me because of my role as an admin. So I'm actually seeing 112 when you actually log in the first time at, without ac having access, the numbers will change. Um, it will remember your last settings even if you disable the golden toolbar and go back in again it will remember the standard spocklets that you had available in the system unless you force the reload so now the other option is I can go in and I can say I want to go ahead and click on this icon here and now this gives me the option to actually save my settings to the server and if I click that I'm going to do it for the toolbar we can envision as we've been talking about it at Spock Home that there may be other options to save other scripts uh, backups of them to the server too so for example settings for um, assassinator or let's say maybe even stats so that this way they're protected and safe and then maybe even an auto sync option at some point so if you click save selected settings now now my backup is saved. Now if I move to another machine or I lose something, I could actually go load settings from server and then the settings will load back in all the spocklets and all my my uh, custom spocklets that I've added as time has gone on. So the other thing that is available now is complete search. So if I was looking for Chicago oops, repeat job, then it would be there. I can go ahead and family and I'll get all the fam anything that has family in it anywhere. So quickly I can get to a lot of the spocklets without having to load up my entire spocklets list here. What I promoted the idea of was making sure that the drop down maybe had the ones that you're going to use on a regular basis. Otherwise, uh, you know, use your search because it's much faster and you know, you can obviously get to everything that's available inside the uh, spocklets list. So I think that's it for this particular tutorial. Um, if there's any questions, come to our forums. Um, you can get there at spockon.me slash forum and um, you know, leave a question, comment, whatever, and we'll be sure to get it answered. And um, Look forward to some really nice things coming in the toolbar in the future. So stay tuned. Thank you.